Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back to my channel. All right, y'all. So I'm changing it up just a little bit. Um, it's been a while since I've done a human hair review. And so that is what today is being featured on. This is a, a vendor that I received this hair from on Amazon. But before we get into the video, if you are new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you are notified when I upload a video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, y'all, so I did wash this hair off camera. I always wash my human hair units. So now I'm just, after it's dried overnight, I'm going ahead and apply some of this mousse to kind of mold it and shape it into the form that I would like it. I do like how this unit did come pre-plucked, so I'm not going to go in and do any extra plucking. I just kind of want to see what I can do with this unit the way it came other than me washing it. So here's some argan oil I'm spraying on it as well, just to give it a nice little shine before I flat iron it. So I was looking at this hair um, with it being nice and straight and sleek, but I wasn't really feeling it as much like this. Um, you know, it's cute like this and everything, but you know me, I'm always a little extra sometimes. So I just had to jazz it up just a little bit. I wanted a little more volume. I didn't want it all flat to my head like it was. So I am going in with my deep wave iron and this is um i think it's by bedhead and it's called a wave we go yeah so i just i had to do something else y'all so keep on watching i've been feeling emotional thinking about you thinking about you babe what can we focus on? What we should do? Tell me the truth. Cause I don't wanna see you with somebody else. And I've been feeling lonely in this king size bed. I'm trying not to worry about the things you say. I ain't got the time, you're always on my mind. Baby, why are you playing with my love? I'm trying to be patient. So since I did not bleach the knots this time, I decided to go in with some of my foundation powder. Now I apologize in advance, I have somehow lost some footage of me actually adhering the wig down with my got to be glued free spray, but you've seen me do that in so many other videos, hopefully, and if you haven't, you can just check that out, but I did adhere it down with my got to be glued free spray. So now I'm just going in with my hot comb to flatten out this parting area as much as possible. Next, I'm going in with the My First Wig Flyaway Tamer. 
just to make sure I don't have any flyaways and try to keep this area as flat as possible. And now I'm just adding some of my foundation powder to the parting space. So I have been doing a trend of synthetic wigs and now I am finally back with a human hair unit. So this unit was sent to me from a vendor on Amazon and y'all let me try to work this name out real quick. Suisse. Sounds French, right? Suisse. <laughs> I really don't know how to say that. <laughs> but that's how it looks like it sounds. Suisse. That's what we're going to go with. Because I don't really know. But they sent me this wig. And I appreciate you, Zuis, on Amazon. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending me this unit. Now, before we get into the video, if you are new here, welcome. Let me go ahead and remind you to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload a video. And if you happen to like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I am here to bring you wonderful wig reviews, makeup reviews every now and now and again, but mostly wig, hair, crochet reviews, tutorials, that kind of thing. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You won't be mad. Hopefully not. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to insert a little clip of the unboxing of this hair, just how the unit came. They come with some nice goodies like these lashes and a wig cap that you can never go wrong with. So this is what the hair looks like coming right out of the package. This is what the hairline looks like and it did come pre-plucked. This is what the standard cap construction looks like with the two combs on the side, one in the back and the adjustable straps. Alright, so just to give you some details on this wig, this is a 13 by 4 lace front short bob. Um, I did get it in 14 inches instead of your typical 10 to 12. I just wanted it a little bit longer. And I happen to love this length. Like 14 inches is like perfect. It's like so manageable, you know, where you don't have it all long and it's getting all tangly. You know, getting caught up in your coat now that it's fall and we got to wear coats. So I just feel like this is like the perfect length. So I love a 14 inch. She is 150% density and she did come pre-plucked. And she can be found on Amazon for $88.59. Like, that is the bizarre for human hair wig. That comes pre-plucked. Now, she did not come bleached, and I did not bleach her myself. So, you may be able to see some of the knots, but, you know, I try to conceal them as best as possible with my foundation powder. I did like that she would already came pre-plucked, and it's a pretty decent hairline, you know. It's not, I probably could have went in here and, you know, plucked some more to make it a little better. But, I wanted to see what it was going to be like with less work as possible. Because I know it's a lot of my good, good girlfriends that don't want all that work. Nobody, you know, everybody don't want to go bleaching knots. Everybody don't want to go tweezing uh, or plucking <laughs> hairline. So I just wanted to see how it would come out without doing any of that. Now, I did try this unit as a nice little sleek straight bob. And it was cute and everything, but I wasn't really feeling it all like that. So I decided to, you know, deep wave this baby on up using my good little bedhead wave we go a wave we go so i wanted to wave her up a little bit give me a little bit more volume like i just yeah it's 14 inches i just didn't want the little straight sleeks in my head 14 inches so i decided to plump her up a little bit and i really love her this way like she's gorgeous like this so i decided not to add any baby hairs again i was trying to do minimal work as possible so this this became an easy breezy human hair unit that you don't have to put all that work into because I know these human hair wigs can be a little intimidating for those who are just not that used to wearing wigs or human hair wigs for that matter. Synthetic wigs are a little easier but human hair wigs sometimes you got to put in a little more work to make it as natural as possible. So I was just trying to make it as easy as possible and it's affordable y'all like win 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 come on 
I'm helping my sisters out. I'm helping my sisters out. I'm helping you. Come on. This is an easy breezy. Y'all know I love the easy breezy. I love the easy breezy units, y'all. So this is another one. All right, y'all. So that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Thumbs up this video. And go ahead and share it with your friends and family. Everybody's interested into an easy breezy human hair unit. That you don't have to have a whole lot of work to make her look beautiful. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye, y'all.